Hey guys, my name is Rex Harvey. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a HGRI from Polyhaven's library and we're gonna plug it into 3ds Max using Corona Renderer. So HDRI is a high dynamic range image. And what this means is the brightness areas of the image have a higher value than what the human eye can see or what your monitor can display. But what this is good for is creating photorealistic lighting with a minimal effort in a 3D environment. So let's go to Polyhaven's library and I'm gonna go into the outdoor section and I'm gonna grab a high contrast one um, because this will show the effect um, quite strongly for you guys. So I'm gonna download this into a nice location that I'm happy with and then I'm gonna go straight into 3ds Max and in 3ds Max um, I have this very basic scene set up with the teapot and then I'm gonna go into the rendering tab I'm gonna go into the environment section here and this will allow me to plug in the HDRI. So let's go to the environment map, click on none and you want to select Corona bitmap. You do not want to select the bitmap from the general area because this is not made for Corona. Um, Corona bitmap has been specifically made to work correctly with Corona. Then nothing will happen. So you want to go to the material editor which will enable this little browsing section and you want to browse to your HDRI that you've just downloaded and let's open this up. Then in the slate material editor as you can see there is nothing visible so you want to drag over from the environment map section here over to material editor and you also want to make sure you leave instance ticked on so that they stay linked. Now before we look into this section here, um, let's do a quick test render with our HDRI. As you can see, we've got some really nice lighting with no effort. Um, so the next thing is we want to potentially rotate this HDRI. Um, let's say 180 in this little section here. This will allow us to have full control over the rotation of the image in order to create the exact effect that we're going for. Now the other part that you would potentially want to mess around with is the brightness or the darkness of the image. So if we go down to the output section, um, let's modify the output. So if I want to make it five times stronger, I could just type in five. Or if I want to make it, you know, a little bit darker, we can go down to 0.1 or all the way to zero would go pitch black. Uh, so that's how you would modify the brightness through the bitmap itself. But another option is to go and modify the exposure through the VFB. Or another option would be through your camera settings by changing um, the exposure values within the camera. Um, this is the basic of um, basics of using a HDRI in 3ds Max using Corona Renderer. Um, I hope you enjoy Polyhaven's enormous library.